All right, guys, so now we're going to transition into core. Our first core exercise is that butterfly sit up. All right, we're going to sit it down to the Indian style. All right, but just to get it started off, level one, guys, is a nice little crunch. All right, you guys are going to come back, breathing up, breathing out on your way up and in on the way down. All right, nice little crunch. All we're going to do is get those shoulder blades off the ground. All right, so let's see what we do. Notice how my hand is always facing the ceiling. I'm not looking forward, all right? I'm looking straight up. Get those shoulder blades off the ground by using that core. Level one, all right? Level two, guys, go ahead and bring it all the way up. Like I said, breathing out on the way up, all right? You can feel free to have your hands behind your head, cross your chest. You can use that momentum to fling yourself up. I'm all for it, all right? Just really focusing on that core right here, all right? Level two, guys, actually level three, you guys can add some weight, all right? If you guys want to use dumbbells or a barbell, it's up to you. I'm going to show you guys what that's going to look like, all right? So you guys are probably right here with it, right above your chest. On your way up, if you guys just want to fling it into the air, that overhead press, all right? Go for it. Remember, remember that breathing out on the way up and on the way down. All right, we're going to transition into our second, our second crunch is our second core exercise. It's a reverse crunch. All right. So you guys will notice. This one's pretty easy, guys. It just determines how hard, how high you want your hips off the ground. I'm going to show you guys the difference between all the levels. All right. So level one, level one, you guys want to use those hands, palms facing the ground for a little bit of resistance. All right. Those those hips are coming just low off the ground. All right. So, like pushing those, pushing your hips up towards the ceiling, stretching those toes out towards the ceiling as well, all right? Hips are coming low off the ground, that's level one. Level two, you wanna get a little higher, all right? Push a little harder, go a little higher. You guys will notice how high you're going by, by what's coming off the ground on your back, all right? So if I'm going moderate, about half of my back's coming off the ground, all right? And if I'm going level three, I want everything to come off the ground and I want to control my feet as I come back down, all right? I don't want my feet dropping too low. I want to keep them as high as possible. All right, so level three, guys. Get those hips off the ground. Try to keep them from dropping so low. All right. That's our second core exercise. Our third one, guys, is gonna be Russian twist or sitting twist, all right? Whatever you guys prefer to call it. All right, couple things to remember. Level one, those heels are gonna be on the ground. You guys can have those knees closer, it's a little bit easier, or you can have those knees further away from your chest, all right? That's a little bit harder. Nevertheless, feel free. We're, we're twisting side to side. Notice how my hands are touching the ground. Feel free to use weight on level one. All right, it's all your preference. That's all that matters. Whatever challenges you. Level two and three, you guys will find yourself heels off the ground, same thing. Knees closer, a little bit easier, knees further away, a little bit harder. Working from side to side. And level three, guys, is adding that weight, all right? Make sure you guys are continuously breathing, staying relaxed. You guys are gonna feel this in your core and also your lower body. So expect that and fight through it, all right? If you guys are challenged, fight through that, all right? We're gonna take it to our fourth core exercise, guys. We have those crunch kicks. All right. So level one, those elbows are gonna be on the ground. You guys are gonna be relaxed back. Hands, palms will probably be face down towards the ground. Bring those knees to your chest and out, all right? You guys wanna try to keep that chest as lifted as possible. You guys wanna breathe in as your knees come towards your chest. Breathe out as you extend them out. Breathing in. Breathing out. All right, level two, you guys can bring those hands onto the ground, extend it out. All right, I'll show you guys what that looks like. All right, we're working right here with it. Same breathing pattern, same everything. Level three, guys, you want to challenge yourself a little bit more? Go ahead and get those hands off the ground. Great job. Keep that chest lifted as well. All right, here we go, guys. Moving into our last core exercise, scissor kicks, all right? So level one, two, and three are all within the same plane of motion, same body movement, same everything. 
Only thing that's going to change is the height of your legs and alternating. So level one, the easier. All right. So you guys will find yourselves right here, about a 90 degree angle when alternating. All right. Level two, you guys can go moderate. You guys want to lower that leg at about a 45 degree angle or moderate. All right. Level three, guys, kind of go as little as, as low as possible and flutter those legs. All right. Make sure you guys keep your heads towards the ceiling. You guys are staying relaxed. Make sure you're breathing. All right. Keep working throughout that 30 to 45 second range. And once you guys have hit that core two times around, you guys are officially complete. All right. I believe that is all. All right. So great job to you guys who completed the workout. All right. Shout out to you guys. Yeah.